What is up guys, it's David Elon here. Today I am going over swap nodes in pairs. I've been learning about linked lists today. So um, it just reads, given a linked list, swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head. And we may not modify the value in the list nodes, only nodes itself may be changed. So they want us to return the original list with just the pointers moved. So they just want us to swap the two and then go to the next two and swap the two until we're done so <clears throat> um, so I did this on the whiteboard um, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to oops call this one first and second and then we're gonna put prev here so let's do that we're gonna want to um, let me it's easier when I just code it out this node. So we're gonna have a dummy node, new list node, which is gonna to point to the original head. So let's put the value zero and dummy dot next equals head. So right now our list looks like we just added a zero. So this is dummy. <clears throat> and dummy dot next is right here. Okay, and so let's create a prev node equals, and we're gonna set it equal to um, dummy. So we're going to want to loop through the entire list while head does not equal null, and head dot next does not equal null because we need to swap to. So if there's if head dot next is null, there's nothing to swap. So that's why we have that. So um, let's create our first nodes equals head and list node second equals head dot next. All right, so now we have to do the actual swapping. So swapping. Um, on the whiteboard, um, we're going to want to point prev dot next to um, second. So we're going to want prev dot next. Ah, I'm on data. Prev dot next to point two. And um, <coughs> So now we have prev.next is right here, prev.next. We're going to want to move um, second.next is going to be first, but um, uh, we have to make sure we do it in the right order. So let me think about it real quick. What's the right order? Um, because I believe first, we got to do first.next equals, yeah, first.next equals second dot next because we have to set first dot next equal to three right here because if we move second dot next it'll mess everything up already so first dot next equals second dot next if we would have done second dot next first um it would have messed everything up so you got the order is pretty important so now we can do second dot next equals and so let's go back to the drawing board so second dot next is supposed to be first so right here second this is still second and we're going to point it towards the first so first and that's how we swap and now we need to move um prev and head along so let's move prev and head so on the drawing board so right now we have two one three four so we want um, prev to be here and head to be here um, so right now we can see that um, prev so let's do prev equals first and head equals mm, 
head equals first dot next first dot next first dot next because um, first is right here still we haven't updated it so we want to put head at first dot next so that's that um dummy dot head is still all the way back here so dummy dot head is still or dummy dot dummy dot next is still at the back so it's still right here oh I'm sorry I don't have it up on the board it's still right here so um, that's what we're gonna want to return that's like our pointer to the beginning of the list so let's return that return dummy dot next and that should work nope well oh <laughs> wow that was like the stupidest mistake okay perfect so we got 100 percent um it's o of n runtime and then it's i believe it's o of n um space complexity because we have to create new nodes so let's see uh no i guess it's not it's all it's linear because we're not creating oh we're not creating a new list that's why um if we do it recursively we have to create a new list so iteratively it's actually easier and it's more efficient um I had trouble understanding the recursive, so I'm not going to be going over that, but thanks for watching, guys.